Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to put the watering mat on this shelf and replace the plants. I have several brackets made. So what I want to do, this tray is about the depth that the uh, trays will be when I make my watering trough. So I can measure that. I can drop it about four inches. So that's four inches from this surface. One on that side. Same thing with the second shelf. I'm going to put them on the inside portions. Eventually, you see, I'm going to make a nice tray to go here and it'll go in between the two studs and resting on these pieces. So I need to get another one for here when I get to making the trays, but I don't need to do that right now. I had this stapled up on the edge before. Apparently it was that side up. But I'm out of staples. So I'm just going to have to put it here and staple it against that wall when I get staples again. You need to lay out a piece of plastic to protect your wood. Yeah, this stuff looks terrible. When you buy it, it looks more like this. I'll get in front of that light so it's not. So it's a wicking mat, it's called.
roots can go out of your um, container and work their way through this material. So you can see I've got quite a few roots that I've grown through here. I'm going to have to adjust it a little bit, but nothing serious. And remember, this is that uh, cotton that I had, and see how it's falling apart? So that's important. I'm not going to use this piece. Got to take that out of there. And this is a piece of felt. Felt seems to do pretty much as well as that uh, wicking material. Now you can see this is dripping here. That is why you need your uh, surface, this surface up here, to be completely level. Because if it's not and it's uh, going toward the back, what will happen is it'll the water will come up capillary reaction here and then it will all flow down toward the back of your tray at back of your shelf and uh, drain your tray and pour out the back Because this one was bowed uh, before with the weight of the water, I'm going to have to move down this uh, bracket for now. And I'll move it back up when I get the other trays made. Now with the shelving changed, see they're just hanging right there, so what I'm going to have to do is put another piece so that it goes down to the bottom of this tray. This mat is now soaking wet already, but this is dry. And when you start this, you need to soak your mat to start the capillary action. I might have to put some plastic out here too, but uh, I'll do that when I find out if I have to. This tray takes about three jugs of water, so that's six liters. Oh, 
lights are a little too bright, aren't they? <coughs> so I'll have to turn them off. That's the top shelf set up again. Earlier in the winter I had started and I was top watering everything and then the small things I'd put them out in a tray like people do, let them soak up water and put it back. And after a while I said, nah, this wicking mat thing is much easier so I'm going to go back with that. So this wicking material I ordered from Lee Valley Tools. It actually comes with a black plastic uh, mat to go underneath it. And if you live close by where there is a Lee Valley Tools, I recommend you go out there and get it because this is best. Coming in a close second is the felt. The other option, as we talked about the uh, cotton sheet, and this is 100% cotton t-shirts. I have a bunch of old t-shirts that makes me look like a obo if I wear them. They can be used as a wicking material, but they will degrade over time. That uh, sheet that I just threw away, I showed you that it was falling apart. Um, that was about a year. Really, I'd say about six months because there was a space there where I wasn't using it. And then it degrade. But it has to be 100% cotton. And then once it starts to degrade, throw it in the compost. So I'm going to finish up these shelves and I'll show you the results when I'm done. Now I've got these set up. I laid the t-shirts down here and I put some water on them and just went off and left them for a while until they soaked up all the water. And the same thing I have done down here. Now I expect the t-shirts to work, but I don't expect them to work as well as I would like. And I was checking the price and this watering mat I don't think the uh, felt would be much cheaper and so I just ordered one another one of these there they come three feet wide by six feet long so the one mat will give me enough to do both that bottom shelf and the rest of this shelf There we go. The bottom one, I'm going to be planting my onion uh, seeds here now in a couple of days, so they'll be going there. Hope you enjoyed it. As I said, the next uh, video will be the planting of the onion seeds. And a couple more seeds as well. So I'll see you then. Thank you for watching. Bye.